The finale of Beacon 23 answers many burning questions viewers have posed throughout Season 1. It also skips answering some of them, but with the renewal news about the show, we can expect those answers in the next season. Episode 8 begins with Aster casually looking at the artifact from the cupola as if it is nothing. She has a quaint smile on her face, almost as if she can see inside it. Aster looks like a woman who knows all the secrets about the priceless phenomenon. Who saves the beacon from the QTA? We also see a vision where young Aster is going through the door to the other side on an abandoned spaceship. Harmony tries to warn Finch and Saldana about controlling the beacon. She offers help to perform Bart's functions, which can be overwhelming for humans. However, the duo rejects her offer. In the most unexpected of outcomes, Helen goes after the cutters and successfully destroys them. But in the process, he also renders the Amboina useless. Helen docks back on the beacon where the duo try to blackmail him. But he is up to the task and is determined to take Aster off the beacon with him. Why does Kier not want Aster to help Aleph? Kier opposes this move and believes that the artifact has a message for her. Aster must be allowed to complete her journey, to learn what that message is. Kier believes it can elevate the human experience. Harmony beseeches Helen to convince Aster to surrender. She works for the QTA and the organization wants Aster to harness her relationship with the artifact for them. Finch and Saldana want to abandon the beacon, but Kier isn't ready to. They get the idea to use Aster. Having her could give them leverage with the QTA. However, Harmony warns them against doing so, promising severe punishment if they try anything. All of a sudden, the beacon experiences technical malfunctions. The computational error is due to Aleph's QTA mothership, which hovers near the beacon in its orbit. Harmony rejects Helen's cry for help. She refuses to go against his maker, whose original consciousness is embedded in his generational AI, as we saw in Episode 4.